Good day, fellow investors. Cisco is a stock that we mentioned here on the channel already late 2020. I even bought it for one of my portfolios. And if you go to my research platform, Cisco is the one that you can have a free preview along some other one or two stocks of the 25 and more that I cover. So if you click here, by looking at Cisco, you can really see what I do. So I've just updated on the last earnings. Here is the investment summary for Cisco. And then here below, you have all the other documents that I made in the past covering the stock, analyzing the business, valuing the first also valuation. So this is what I do. This is what I do for more than 25 stocks and sectors and everything. And I really want to discuss Cisco here because, of course, I think I bought somewhere here because I thought it was too cheap. Then I sold partially too early, of course, that's value investing. And then I thought that, okay, Cisco is a stock to forget about. But now again, we are significantly down and close again to the price I did buy here. Still a little bit up, but still, when you look at the dividend yield, it is there, the P ratio is relatively okay, the market cap is there, and Cisco is a company that has compounded over the dot-com bubble even, but over long-term, slow and steady compounding, and that's what you want to see when you come to investing. So let's do the earnings update. Of course, show the valuation and then see how it fits your portfolio with the conclusion. If you like this analysis video, don't forget to analyze that like button because it really supports the channel. Thank you very much. For the business, I really want to go through this valuation. So it is the company selling the infrastructure for the AI connectivity and everything you hear so much talk about. They are the ones making it happen. And as the internet expands and everything, they should do really good. They have re achieved record backlog despite the decline in the stock price. So really, really good. And they have free cash flows. And now in May 2022, the free cash flow yield is already at 7.5% plus the expected growth. Here is the update really on the business. So the cash flows are there. They spend that money on buybacks and dividends. So this is what I'm looking for. A little bit slowdown and that's when analysts panic immediately. Okay, this is a big issue. Slowdown, but still making a lot of money and if the tailwinds are positive, so it should also be all okay for Cisco. Financial results, okay, flat revenue, but there are some ups and downs and the concerns now are that the increased prices will push margin lower, will push spending all on all what Cisco sells down, but the backlog is there and the management is confident about the future demand, but the market doesn't seem to agree with that. Because we look for demand was okay, record backlog, 15 billion, 130% higher. So they are then also working on recurring revenue. So really, really good. And they're just keep doing their job, which is always a good sign. Of course, there were some declines like services and collaboration, but that led to a zero, but still the net income was higher, so higher margins for this situation. So really, really good, good cash flows, capital allocation, some share repurchases, dividends. And the main issue, if you look at the conference call, was uh, the supply chain. So they say that they are optimism and of course the war and more severe shortage of certain critical components. But the management says the fundamental drivers across the business are still strong. And you can read this in detail, also the summary. But And then on the Q&A, analysts drilling on short-term issues. And yes, there are short-term issues, but you are buying the company for the long term if you buy a company like Cisco and you can enjoy here you can read this summary as it is free for preview and, and now let's make a valuation for Cisco I have estimated 14 billion over the long term average free cash flows for dividends and buybacks so calculated the present value there and even with slow growth ahead over time just 5% discount rate of 12.5% here 
terminal multiple conservative of 15, the intrinsic value is 198 billion. With better news, better intrinsic value, slower, slower intrinsic value. So it is, let's say, fairly priced for a 12% return if you calculate the cash flows and the growth ahead. Of course, if they spend a little bit on cash flows there, but it looks like a good buy, like it was the case here. Now it's a little bit higher already, so a little bit less. But again, a good company at a fair price that you can likely accumulate over time. So here is again the template. You can download the free one and then you can make your own valuation if you want to do that. Let's go to the conclusion. Of course, if I compare it to my other opportunities, Cisco is, let's say, fairly priced for a return, but there are better and I own what I think from a conservative valuation is still better. This is what I do on my research platform. You can dig more if you wish to know more about these specific companies that I follow. And Cisco is an example of how I do that over time, the valuation, and you can see whether this saves you time, investing time, knowledge, and everything. So if it does, check my research platform. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.